What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Fountain of Youth. So, in today's episode, I'm uh, gonna do the uh, ocean exploration. I was uh, talking about in, I think, a couple of episodes already. So I figured since I now have the have the breathing bubble, I think it's called. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I might as well do do some diving here and. Like map out the outskirts of the of Copper Island here, so let's uh let's check the map here. So there's Copper Island right here, and our base is right there. So I figured I'd go like counterclockwise around the island and see see what's on on these smaller ones over here. Not expecting a whole lot to be here, but you know, you never know, so might as well check it and also map it out if I can. I noticed that sometimes you can't map out the the water area, but sometimes you can. So it looks like we already got some purple coral and uh, these dorados here. And I think that's the thing we, the halu, halumenia, halumenia, something like that, is what we need to be able to craft some of this I think it's yeah the seaweed fabric so um, I'm gonna definitely pick some of that up since I'm here is, is there anything else around here no just the purple coral which is actually good for for making these uh, oh I think I have them on my boat here so I think I have some, uh, yeah, this coral powder, which gives you 43 health over a few hours. So that's, that's definitely not nothing. Now let's see, I think, yeah, there should be just out here somewhere. Not seeing a whole lot here, but yeah, we should be in the, in the middle of them. So let's get out of the boat and equip this thing. So now we should be able to dive twice as far. Oh, and let's let's not forget to equip the spear just in case. I didn't see any any sharks marked out over here, but you never know. So is it is, no? What am I what am I looking for? Oh, this looks like the stuff. Maybe. Yep. There we go. So we're looking for these things down here. Yeah, I really, really like the like un underwater aspect of this game as well, because it just makes sense when you're on an island. <laughs> but I've I've played some some other games before that have been on, on islands before or as well and uh, they didn't really do like underwater stuff like you could swim across the water but there was nothing to do in the in the water so I'm, I'm really liking this game and I really hope that they bring bring some new uh new um like islands or like areas pretty soon i think they were talking about something uh like some sort of an update uh in like a month or two i think let's see if there's anything here oh, i could use uh use my vision or the focus underwater too not seeing anything i was hoping that there was going to be something like hidden around these rocks or but I'm not seeing it. No, oh, where's my boat? There it is. Yeah, you don't don't wanna go too far from your boat in the water because if you run out of stamina you, you start drowning. So that's something to keep uh keep in mind. Uh, 
how do we make out? Uh, we got five of these. I have no idea how much the... Uh, oh, we can actually check now. So it's just one of each. Okay. And then we need the loom. Which I, I think I already made or, or was thinking of making, but... Yeah, I, I can uh, come back here off camera and pick up this stuff so we can make the... Make the uh, clothing. Oh, it looks like it's night. Well, that's lovely. Uh, is this part of Copper Island or like the big, big place with the trees over there? It's like it's uh, it's its own island. Now, where are we on the map? We're over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna park here and sleep through the night and bring you guys back in the morning. I'll probably map out this area here, but yeah, see you right, right in the morning. All right, it's bright and early in the morning, and I just got the mapping done for this area. Looks like there's some Hydrilla, Gran Silaria, and then the shark over there. I think I'm gonna try and go and poke the shark and see if there's any anything interesting over there, because I'm not seeing much here. So hopefully the shark's guarding some sort of a uh, some sort of a treasure or something. So the shark is straight out here somewhere. Oh, I passed him. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Where's the shark? Uh, I'm not seeing him. Which means he's probably after me. <laughs> Come on, where's the shark? Oh, it's that way. I went the wrong way. Oh, I see him now. Come here, buddy. Oh, it's too early. No, I can't block him. That's not good. I can't use the blocking blocking hit. There we go. Get wrecked. Oh, you want some more? Hmm. That's not great. Well, at least I killed him. Now let's see if I can find back to my bow. Oh, it's right up here. And then let's, uh, let's get patched up here. I might as well use one of those. Now I think I should have everything. Oh, I'm sunburned. Uh-oh. That's not great. I think I have... No. Uh-oh. I think I left it at the, um... At the outpost over on Copper Island. Uh, now where did the shark go? He should float back to the surface. Nope, not seeing. Well, I'm gonna take the boat and go back to the back to the outpost and get my sunburn dealt with. I thought I was. Oh, oh, okay. Because I, I didn't have the um, have the hood equipped, so. Well, I'll run back to the base and see you guys in a bit. All right, we're back at the shark and I got my uh, sunburn treated with the tobacco compress and I also brought the other one that I had over here with me. I'm, I'm going to have to have to make some more. Uh, hmm, I'm not really, really in much need of the fish bones for the moment, so... Well, I guess I might as well get them while I'm here, but I really think you should be able to get some shark meat out of that guy. And, uh, oh yeah, I also uh, equip my leather hood when I'm not in the water, so hopefully that should uh, that should protect me from getting sunburned again. And it looks like there's uh, another rocky island over here. 
just every once in a while checking if I can see anything with the uh, with the focus concentration thing, whatever it's called. But it doesn't look like it, so I'll, I'll get this mapped out and bring you guys back once we get to the big island, unless I find something actually interesting over here. But I'm not expecting to find much. Well, never mind. I just apparently unlocked a new location, so it says that I can start the mapping here, but I think I'm going to do it on, on top there to get a lot more range out of this. It's interesting. I wasn't expecting to expecting this to be any any new location, but well, there's a lot of surprises in this game for me. <laughs> Let's see. Can we? Looks like we can get up here. Yep. Oh, really? Come on. Let's go up here then. There we go. Oh, well, still going up. This might be a really good vantage point for the mapping and maybe checking out what the other other island because that looks looks pretty interesting. So let's start the mapping here. So yeah, now we got four hundred and twenty seven mapping range. Which hopefully we can double up. Oh. Well, there's a lot more of that uh, aluminia over here. Let me do the mapping again and see if I can get the double. There we go. That's much better. So what's this uh, scrap of land? Okay, so there's copper island there, and this is like its own own area with two two islands why am I not seeing am I missing something because if I look at this map it looks like that's the uh, island with the trees and there should be another one somewhere over here but I'm like in this direction like that one but I'm not seeing it so That's interesting. It looks like there's another small island over there with some palm trees. So I, I guess we'll go and check that out next. Uh, where did I leave my boat? Oh, it's over there. I really like how the how the focus highlights your uh oh, ow, highlights your boat and and like all the carts and stuff you have. That you be able to lose a lot more easily otherwise let's just stop killing ourselves with the falls here and uh it looks like there's a dorado down, down there oh this doesn't look good now okay now let's try to get somewhere I'll, I'll go and check out that, that small island with the palm trees, because these rocky ones don't really seem to seem to have much on them, so maybe there's something over here. And here we are. Let's park the boat, and yeah, it looks like there's a uh, well, there's a massive stone, some Big branches, leaves, not nothing really all that exciting. What's that up there? Oh, there's a starfish here, just chilling up. Oh, and another one. Oh, and that was a starfish that I saw from down there. Oh, and we got a bunch of uh, sea urchins popping up here. I, I feel like those things should be underwater, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Let's do 
do the mapping here as well and see if we can... Oh, it doesn't look like it gave us any anything new. So I guess we'll... I'll, I'll save the scrap of land for a little bit later. Because I don't want to get too carried away with all the, all the different areas here. So I'll, I'll try to get the smaller stuff around the Copper Island mapped out first and then we'll see see where we're at with the episode and maybe I'll I'll come and visit this place at the end but it kind of looks like it might might be its own own thing so I don't really want to like go through anything too fast cuz I, I really want to find all the all the interesting stuff Oh, speaking of, I also one one thing I really want to go to today is the is the cave over here that we found in, in the exploration episode that I couldn't couldn't find a way to get into from the top. So I'm hoping that I can get get in from the water. So it doesn't look like there's anything interesting here. Nope. And it didn't look like I could be, I could climb that, so I'm not gonna even try. So oh, it looks like there's some some sort of like a building up there, right at the edge of the water. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Can't wait what they what they come up with next. Although I've I've messed around in the like just. <laughs> looking around in the game so so long that I, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to like be be saved at the end or something because I like some some people were mentioning that like your um, actions have consequences in the game or something like that and I, I appreciate that they didn't like spoil anything or anything like that but I, I think it's interesting like how Apparently, some people have completely different, uh, different like um, experiences in in the game, depending on how how they've been playing the game, which I really, really like in in games. So apparently, this isn't like set in stone, like the path you take. Oh, come on, get up there! No, I said get up there slide down there we go now let's see we got this mapped out pretty well from somewhere maybe the mapping tree here but i'm gonna do it again anyway let's see if we can unlock anything more it looks like we got some more seaweeds around here and that's pretty much it okay so let me uh sleep through the night and then then we'll go and check out the cave out there might as well get the branch while I'm here so yeah see you guys in the morning again all right it's the morning and we're coming close to where I think the cave should be here and it kind of looks like the entrance might be here maybe no that doesn't or can I go through there I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to Bring the boat. Yeah, it looks like we can dive through here. Alright, this is cool. Let's see if there's any danger noodles or spiders or... Doesn't look like it. So there's a gold digger's note. Okay. Hello, adventurer. You are really an adventurer, otherwise you would have never found my mortal body. My name was Daniel Ortiz, and I was part of the of the Pancha de Leon expedition. I could be enjoying inter eternal life having drunk water from the fountain, but instead I will die here in the middle of nowhere. And all because of that scoundrel, Gonzalo? He turned out to be very lucky. He found an ancient treasure map and called me to go with him. The plan was simple. We get eternal life as well as a huge fortune. What could be better? But that's... But why share it, right? That's what my partner thought. After the treasure was found and dug up, 
we, he attacked me in my sleep, broke my legs and destroyed my boat. Moreover, he left me a shovel, mockingly allowing me to dig my own grave for myself instead of treasures. Damn him for eternity. I rely on you, wanderer, to put my mortal remains in the grave. And if you're lucky to punish this rogue, Gonzalo, in case he's still alive. He was planning to return to the expedition. Lord forgive me for my greed, my mortal sin. Well, that didn't really work out for you. And it doesn't look like we can put you to the grave, buddy. Sorry. Oh, copper shovel. That's nice. I'm glad I didn't waste my copper on that. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, like, uh, uh, between the episodes, I was going through the through the stuff that I, uh, I can make with the copper and, like, checking out trying to figure out what I should should craft and all that sort of nonsense and I ended up making the um like using using all my leftover copper from the episode to make the solar still on on copper island cause the water is the main thing and I figured even even if I um made like the copper spear or like one of those copper um, I, I think I could have made two of those copper um copper armor pieces or whatever they're called uh, I had no way of repairing them until I got more copper so I figured the <laughs> water was was important enough to to use the copper on so that's that's what I did and I, I think there was another little nook I thought I saw over here when I first came in on the rock wall, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually go in from there. Like up, up there. So I'll, I'll go and check that out here. Since I'm right next to it anyway. Should probably change my harpoon to an actual spear. Oh, and there's absolutely nothing here. Well, that's that's interesting. So I guess that was a waste. So I think I'll go over here and uh, no, actually it looks like I've already maybe mapped that out and it doesn't look like there's really anything, anything interesting up there. So let me, uh, let me get back to the, back to the base here and uh, I'll see you guys back there. All right, we're back at the base here, and let me show you the the solar still here. Is that bird gonna be a problem again? No. Okay. Yeah, you just. Stop. Oh, well, this guy's gonna be a problem. I uh, can't can't believe all the animals have respawned again. But yeah, here's the here's the solar. solar water distiller, so it evaporates seawater through solar heat and condenses water vapor into drinking water. And uh, the sunnier the weather, the higher the productivity. So I figured this is a probably a good place to good place to put it. So I, I placed it down between the episodes and it's been going probably like three days now and it only made nine water. So I'm, I'm not really impressed with that, even with the heat over here. So. But uh, yeah, since we seem to have a little bit of time left in the episode, I figured I might as well go up here. Because we went through here and explored like all of this side of the area. But I noticed that there's a living water and chronicles up here. So I'll, I'll try to see if I can find a, find a way up there and show you guys what's, what's over there. But I'm, I'm going to just cut out the run back there unless, you know, I get brutally murdered or something. <laughs> but if nothing else happens, I'll, I'll see you guys over over there once I found the uh, found a way in. Freaking harpies and tegus. Okay, I 
I feel like that's gonna be the entrance to the to the living water. Oh, how did that? There we go. Yeah, I do like the damage mitigation the armor gives us. Yeah, looks like there's the living water. There's a snake and a couple of scorpions, because of course there is. That I want the arrow back. Let's get rid of these guys here. Oh, here we go. There's some puffball mushrooms. So now I can make the make the mushroom soup and see see how that works out. And it looks like there's a stone pile here too. Interesting. Okay, now let's see what the ancient drawing is. Oh, and I got a perk point from that. Nice. Uh, Song of the Last Days. When the war with the immortals ended, the story of this tribal nation ended with it. For 16 years, people were dying of pestilence all over the islands. They destroyed the poisoned wells and created new clay wells for rainwater. But it was too late, and soon there was no one left to drink from them. And there, there were those who sailed off into the fogs of Bimini Belt on their simple boats, but no one ever returned and the red waters told their fate. And on the 17th year after the ship burning, the last mortal in the last village took his last breath. Well, that, that kind of sucks. But uh, what are you going to do? Now let's see, we got that there. Yeah, I think I'm going to save this side of the island for another exploration. It looks like there's a couple of cats up there and some interesting sights and all that sort of st stuff but I also noticed that if I go to the goals here the captain's camp I have to search the hill apparently the crew has built some sort of watchtower I should climb up the ladder and see what's there and I'm pretty sure I saw it up up there somewhere like next to the camp so can we looks like we should be able to go through here and get to the camp. So let's let's do some more exploration to end the video. Oh, and here's another freaking tegu. Uh, I still can't make anything with the tegu hides, but I feel like those might be good later. Looks like we got a bird up in the air too and there's the camp so oh is that the watchtower or i don't know it's uh try not to get killed here first because i thought it was this thing that i saw like at the end of the previous episode when I was uh, editing the video, I noticed that there was uh, there were steps going up here, so I figured this must be the watchtower. But maybe, maybe it's not. Oh no, it is. Okay, so that's something else over there. Hmm. Now, what do we have? Oh, we got a broken sextant that needs to be repaired with an ingot. Okay, I don't, I don't have any more ingots, so that's that's gonna suck. And we have blank piece of parchment that needs feather and ink that I have at the base. And then we have Ponche de Leon's order about search parties. And that opened up a new goal for us. Um, so we're off to investigate. Our astronomer and navigator Diego Nunez will travel to the island with the coordinates 2544 north, 7929 west. Where the uh, where the winds are constant, constantly blowing, he's he said that that it would be the best place to compose the windrows. Jose de Ruiz volunteered to explore the island covered with constant fog, just like the belt of Bimini. The coordinates of the island are twenty five forty four seventy nine eighteen. Uh, there he will try to understand why the fog never lifts. And at the same time, he clearly hopes to find more ancient remnants. 
our alchemist and naturalist Franco Maurice rushed to the ruin rushed to the rainy island where he had noticed interesting swamp fumes. Sounds strange, but all scientists are a bit strange. The coordinates of the island of the island are twenty five and seventy nine and so on. Uh, Jacob Eliasso wants to study the current converging currents converging near the underwater temple. I will accompany him and go to the coordinates so and so and so. Uh, engineer Gaspar Castillo and Dr. Ricardo intended to study the island with iron deposits. Oh, cool. In order to find resources to upgrade our ship before the trip to Bibini as well as to gather information about the fairway. Sailors from Santa Maria will remain on duty in the camp here on the Copper Island with Fernand Delgado in charge. Okay, cool. So we got... Uh, I'm not sure if they're in the game yet, like all these islands. But it, it seems like we got some iron, iron coming up somewhere and uh, all that stuff. Like, I have no idea how much how much more there is in the game but it, it definitely definitely sounds interesting but uh yeah i think that's gonna that's gonna do it for today's episode so if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and check out my friends link in the description and i'll see you guys next time